Catch is something that, that is a holistic approach to children's health. And you take a look at educating teachers, you take a look at sort of the nutritional lesson plans, you're taking a look at getting the school engaged. It's energy in and energy out. And Catch is a wonderful system of communication, coordination, and instruction for kids. Tell me what two major things does being healthy involve? And if you walk into our school, you won't say, well, this part goes with catch or that part goes with catch. It's really a philosophy and a feeling, and it fits in with everything that we do, and that is take care of the whole child. Most children eat with their eyes, and if we can uh, promote fruits and vegetables especially, and all foods, in a manner that makes it appealing for them, they're more likely to try them. Sometimes they laugh at me because if we get like these big apples in or these big oranges or something and I'll tell them, oh, we have a special today. And, and sometimes the kids come in, Miss Kamen, what's the special today? It's real important for cafeteria staff to know that they're part of the school community. Many times they are the first person that a student sees in the school day when they come in for breakfast. We try to have fresher fruits, fresher vegetables, and uh, you notice that the kids really pile that stuff on. Some of the best things that we found with the CATCH program, it's a very resourceful program. It provides all of the information that parents need, that a classroom teacher needs, that a PE teacher needs, that a principal needs to communicate to their school their faculty, their students, and their parents about what coordinated school health means. One of the things that I love about a lot of the catch activities and the catch training is they're showing how to incorporate various activities that can be done in the classroom. The name of this game is called Two Hellos and a Hi. For instance, one of the first games that I learned in a catch training was we had to go up and meet each other and we shook hands and we threw out various fingers and we had to say odd or even. This is a perfect example of integrating math. We approach this the way we do all of our projects, which is we find champions who are really interested, people who have a real motivation and interest in whatever area it is. I was asked if I would be uh, the champion for the catch committee here at Popham Elementary, and I was actually very excited about that and was sent right away to a catch workshop along with a teacher, some PE instructors, the nutrition director, and actually our principal went along too. Even though I'm talking about catch, you're the experts at your school. They come in and they train a team and that's the key to their success is that you have to have the teachers, you have to have food service, you have to have PE, you have to have parents all involved to make the program work. With the catch program, we are going to be growing a new generation of child and teacher and parent and school administrator who understands the importance and value of good nutrition, physical activity, and health. Exciting data that we're starting to gather. We showed that at over a four-year period of time, obesity decreased from 24% to 21%. At a time when obesity was trending upwards, now 3% decrease may not sound like a lot, but I was very, very pleased with that. Again, so that it's not that one time fix, that they see this is something I need to do 24 seven, not just Monday through Friday when I'm in school, not just during the 185 days out of the year I'm in school, but for the rest of my life.